How to YouTube, JU Man 2589 is back. I haven't made a video in a while, so I figured I'd do one real quick. Uh, I got a Tagua outside the waistband uh, leather retention strap that uh, just doesn't quite match with uh, my everyday outfits for work. I work in a professional uh, environment, so I got to wear uh, tucked in shirts at all times. And uh, with Oklahoma passing an open carry bill and all, uh, looks like I'm going to be able to accomplish this quite well. Uh, this is for my XD9 subcompact. I've got some Needs Foot Oil here, commonly used for saddles and different type of uh, tack for horses. And I'm going to try and get it to as close, as close to this as possible. So basically uh, the whole principle is you just need to soak the leather in the oil, wipe it all real, real well. Uh, get it nice and even and uh, it'll actually die as well as soften, lubricate and protect against moisture uh, of the leather. So I got this this bucket here, I'm going to pour a little bit in the bucket, kind of swish it around, take some chop rags and uh, wipe the excess off, let it dry for about an hour and then uh, if it's not dark enough then just repeat. So I'll check back to you once I get that. Okay, this uh, needs foot oil I got it at Atwoods, just in case you're wondering. It comes in like a normal oil bottle, so it has the ounce markings on the back. Couldn't see it real well. But I'm just going to pour it in a couple ounces just to get it in there. And I'm actually going to set it in there and do all the work in here so that I don't get oil all over my garage. And I know that will be messy, as it always is. So uh, let's drop that in there. And then uh, I got to use two hands to start covering it. So I'll check back in with you. Thanks. This is what it looks like after a quick first coat. As you can see, the edges took really well. That's just one coat, and it's already darker than my belt, which which is fine. It it'll go uh, a lot better than with the this light tan. And the tan did get darker a little bit, not much. But uh, I'm gonna keep wiping it down real good. And uh, it's kind of, I mean, really oily, so that's why it's nice to keep it all in that bucket uh, until you're wiping it down. But uh, I'll check back in after the second coat. This is after the third coat. It's getting there. Uh, for whatever reason, this front doesn't want to take, but it just uh, takes coating and letting it sit for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. It gets darker as it sits here. You'll actually see the oil. It won't be really oily anymore because it's actually absorbing it into the leather. But it really does make it a lot softer. I mean, you can move this thing where it was stiff before. So, uh, it's kind of like spray painting. It takes a while. You gotta let it dry in between like you're supposed to and it'll come out looking nice. Finally, after uh, six or seven coats, it's uh, pretty dark, about where I like it. There's some spots that just wouldn't take. That's why I had to do it six or seven times. Mom was dry in between. There's a small spot here that took forever. And then right in this corner took forever. But, uh, I mean, you just keep treating those single spots and then wipe it down. I got it pretty even uh, so it stayed even so we don't have one spot that's darker than the other. But uh, that's about it. The leather is incredibly soft. Um, I mean, it's real pliable now, which is a good thing, I think, because when I put it on my hip, this thing would not bend, but now it's not going to have any problem bending. So, uh, hope you like it. Hope it helps out. Um, if you like the light tan, then I guess you don't have to do any of this, but I just wasn't satisfied, and I'm always tinkering with something, so... Uh, hopefully I'll make some more videos for you guys uh, in the future. Thanks for watching.